Hello guys, I hope you are well and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you six quality camera accessories that I use on pretty much every shoot. So before we get stuck into the video guys, I'd just like to say massive thanks to everybody that's recently subscribed to the channel. Really appreciate that, I really do appreciate your time and all your likes and comments as well. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you're into your photography, videography related stuff. It'd be great to have you on board. Okay, with that said, let's get on to the video. So all of the products I'm going to be talking about today are things that I've sourced over quite a few years now uh, to solve problems and these are very very good quality products as well. I've wasted a lot of money actually buying other products that just haven't worked so I wanted to share these things with you today to try and help you out to see if it can save you a few pounds as well if you're having similar problems that need to be solved. Uh, also, I'd like to say that I'm not sponsored anyway by any of these products. I'm not being sent to me uh, by anybody. They've, they're not paying me to say this. These are bought with my own money and I'm just uh, purely doing it to help you guys out. So all of the items I'm going to be talking about today, I've put together a blog post for. So the link for that will be in the description. You can go over and be a photograph of the product, a little bit of a description about it and obviously some links so you can go and check out the current prices. So the first products I want to talk about is the Manfrotto Zoom filter adapters. These are amazing. They really are. I just stumbled across these because I was looking at a way, a quick way of being able to take filters on and off because uh, doing what I do, I film weddings and documentary work and one of the things that's very difficult is when you're outside, when you're coming from outside to inside all the time, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, you're continuously needing to take the ND filter off the front of your camera um, when the light changes. So this has completely solved that solution for me because now I don't have to fumble around screwing on these, these adapters. Basically, the Manfrotto Zoom adapters come in two parts. One attaches to the actual lens, you can just see it attached to the top. The other attaches to your filter, just bear with me and I will show you. Attaches to your filter and basically they are magnetic, so it just allows you to clip your filter on. So it's so easy just to take your filter on and off. I can't believe uh, nobody else has thought of this idea and it saves me a ton of time when I'm shooting. Quite often in the past I just wouldn't have used a filter, I'd have just uh, increase my shutter speed to get my exposure right and obviously that's not great for video work but you know needs must sometimes when you run and gun in but this has solved that problem now they're not cheap i have to say they come in two parts and they've been quite clever how they've put this together you get two parts basically you get the lens adapter and the filter adapter the filter adapter obviously fits the filter and the lens adapter fits to the thread of your lens they all come in different sizes as well. So what I've done is I've got a 72mm uh, filter and I've got a 72mm filter adapter attached to it. Um, this is the largest size of my lenses, so this will fit on all of my other lenses. The smaller lenses, I've got step-up rings to get to 72mm and then I've bought the 72mm lens adapter from Manfrotto. So, the lens adapter is actually the most expensive part and they've been quite clever of how they've put this together because you will need to buy multiple lens adapters for all of your lenses if you want this system to work. So they've been quite clever how they've put it together but that being said it is uh, absolutely brilliant and I wouldn't be without this. They do also do another part to this as well so it's a three-part system and that's the lens cap so basically you can leave the lens adapter fitted to your lens and then just pop in their lens cap to protect the front of your lens which means you can have all of your lenses set up before you go so you can quickly inter interchange the filter with them. Now this doesn't just work with a variable ND filter for videography, it also obviously works for circular po polarizers for photography or if you use the circular screwing type ND filters for photography as well these are going to work absolutely brilliant and I highly recommend them. At the end of the video I've got a little money saving tip for you um, with regards to the lens cap so uh, you know stay tuned for that that's going to be coming at the end. So item number two I want to talk about is actually variable ND filter kind of leads on from the last one and I've picked up this KNF concept variable ND filter now it's stops five stops of light getting through your lens and I have to say it's a mid-range price variable ND and it's very impressive. I've found it particularly good for video work. I haven't tried it really too much for photography, but I will be doing. And I think it's great if you don't want to take, say, a modular filter system with you for landscape photography, taking just one variable ND filter 
um, you know, it can save you a lot of weight and space in your bag if you may be doing a big hike or something like that. So I'll definitely be taking this along. I've been very, very impressed with it. Um, it's very similar actually to the Polar Pro uh, Peter McKinnon uh, variable ND that came out uh, in the beginning of the summer, springtime, uh, in the fact that it's got stops at either end. So, you know, when you rotate it, it physically stops at either end of the uh, rotation, so one stops and five stops of light. Now this stops you over rotating the variable ND filter and stops you getting that kind of X shape that you can get with variable NDs, you can get darker corners. So that eliminates that, which is fantastic I've found. I haven't really noticed any color cast when I've been shooting videos. I, it's completely, uh, completely usable for video work and I'm sure it will be for photography as well. So I highly recommend this for a mid-range variable ND. So on to product number three, and I've been using this for about a year now, and I have been super impressed. I literally use this on every single shoot that I go on, and it's the Peak Design Capture Clip. When I'm out shooting weddings, it's on my belt, so uh, I've got the plates on the bottom of the cameras. All of my cameras have got the same plate on them, so if I'm juggling my cameras, I can easily just clip one onto my belt, and it gives me a free hand should I need to. So absolutely vital i wouldn't be without this whenever i'm hiking it's on the uh, shoulder strap of my bag meaning that i can just clip the camera on here i don't need to pack it away every five minutes and get it out it saves me a ton of work especially when i'm filming the vlogs i can uh, quickly have access to my camera and shoot a little bit of b-roll and then move on without unpacking my bag it just saves a heap of time and they're very 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 good quality and uh, haven't had any issues with them not you know coming undone or locking or anything like that very, very high quality piece of kit. The mount plate on the bottom is Arca Swiss compatible as well, meaning that if you've got Arca Swiss compatible tripod heads, this will fit on all of those as well. So it's just a case of unclipping it from your strap straight onto your tripod, monopod, or gimbal, or any other kind of stabilized device that you've got. So yeah, highly recommend the Peak Design capture clip as well. So item number four, something a little different actually, but I've found this incredibly useful over the last year or so, and that is a power brick such as this, and this is the Anker 20,000 PD. Now let me quickly tell you why this is particular model is so good. This will actually power my camera itself, so it's got a USB-C type connection and a USB connection as well, and I can power my camera for this. So this comes in incredibly useful for if I'm filming for a long time. Obviously the batteries in my cameras maybe last 30, 45 minutes, something like that. If I need to film for longer, I plug this into my camera and it just allows me probably about two and a half hours of record time, which is fantastic, it really is. Also, along with that as well, I've got a USB dual charger for my batteries. Now, these are pretty much generic, you can pick them up on, on Amazon, and uh, you can plug this in, and this will charge around about eight of my batteries, which is great. So, basically, when I'm filming d during the day, every single time I've uh, got a battery that's dead, just plug it into here, put it in my bag, and it's just charging in my bag. So, I never have to plug in, if I'm at a venue shooting a wedding or something like that, I never have to plug into their power supply, which is great because quite often venues want all of your gear pat tested as well uh, it just eliminates that i've got my own charging device happy days no need to mess around so also obviously it'll charge your phone and stuff like that as well if you need that so yeah highly recommend that just need to make sure that you get the pd version which is a power delivery version if you want to power your camera what i do just to uh, fix it to my tripod is use a velcro strap like this and i just literally use three of these velcro straps and connect the the, uh, the battery to one of the tripod legs and then i just plug it into the side so yeah uh, when i've finished uh, filming basically i just unplug the power usb from the side of the camera and just uh, leave the battery attached to the tripod and and carry on what i'm doing so yeah i highly recommend one of those so on to item number five we've got the peli memory card case these are great you know peli cases make very very durable products for professional photographers and this is rock hard, uh, stores all of your memory cards inside, as you can see on there. In a foam, you know, protective case, it's waterproof, shockproof, dustproof, all that stuff. So, yeah, keeping the memory cards is, uh, you know, keeping memory cards safe is very, very important. I've been caught out in a torrential downpour whilst we we're hiking up uh, Molshabad with Henry Turner. And yeah, like this basically saved my memory cards from getting absolutely drenched because we had some awful conditions up there. And yeah, 
this was a lifesaver. So last up is this little tripod from Manfrotto. It's called the Pixie Evo and it is absolutely brilliant. I use this so much, I cannot tell you how much I use this. Um, at the minute, it's got an Arca Swiss plate, quick release plate mounted to the top of it. Uh, so again, I can interchange my cameras between this. Uh, the legs are extendable and they extend in different stages so you can get it level. Um, you can flatten the legs out like this or you can do them completely wide open as well to get it really low to the ground. So it is, yeah, exceptional quality as well. Now I use this for so much stuff. I use it all of the time when I'm uh, shooting the vlogs. And basically this will go in a back pocket when the camera's attached to the Peak Design capture clip. And then when I'm walking around, I can just quickly take my camera off, bung it on that, put it on the ground and capture some B-roll or say I need to do a walking shot or something like that. Also, <coughs> it's great for vlogging as well. Let me just quickly show you quickly attach the camera to the top of it and you can hold it up like this you can uh, obviously angle it a little bit more so it's pointing towards you and you've got basically the perfect vlogging setup there if you've got a wide lens on around about sort of 14 mil on the APS-C you've got the perfect kind of wide, wide angle aspect to be able to shoot a vlog and in fact right at the beginning of the video this is what I was using just to do my intro just to give you an idea of how that looks uh, basically handheld no stabilization so yeah Definitely recommend the Manfrotto Pixie Evo. So yeah, Manfrotto got two items in this. I would say Manfrotto have exceptionally good quality gear. The camera's on a Manfrotto tripod as well. I highly recommend them. Again, I'm not linked with them in any way, just uh, my honest opinion. So following on from what I said at the start regarding the money saving tip. Now back to the Zoom Manfrotto filter adapters. <laughs> Now, like I said before, they do their own cap, but the cap costs like maybe 10 pounds or something like that, which is ridiculously expensive for a lens cap. You know, I've got these now on four different lenses, so I'd have to spend 40 pounds on lens caps. Now, I'm just not doing that, I'm afraid. But what I come up with a quick little solution, basically I bought these generic cheap lens caps from uh, Amazon. Uh, they were like six pounds, I think, for four or three, I can't remember now. Basically, you just need to get a smaller version. Like this is a 72 mil lens adapter, and this is a 62 mil lens cap. And basically, they just sit inside like that. And they don't come out because what I've done is just attached a very, very small piece of gaffer tape around each of the uh, springy clippy bits. And that just helps it grip into place. It's not gonna come out. And you know, you've saved yourself a ton of money. So yeah, hope that helps. So guys, like I said before, all of the info for these products is down below in the description. Go and take a look at the blog post. That's pretty much it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've got something from it. Hope these products can help you like they've helped me. Next week we are out in the Peak District. Can't wait for that, doing some landscape photography, hopefully for a sunrise shoot. Yeah, so follow me along for that one, guys. Really looking forward to it. And I will see you soon. Have a good week. <laughs>